Hello, Mr. Rydell. Hopefully you can hear me. I don't have um, a microphone connected to my computer. My microphone is at the Maxine Smith campus and I'm at a different location. But the green bar is moving, which indicates that there is some audio being picked up somewhere. So I'm going to proceed to try to explain the two questions that you're having problems with on the Sam Path Chapter 15 assignment. So here's one. Add a conditional formatting rule to the selected range in which a green rim traffic light icon is applied to a value greater than to a value equal to a greater than 2000 and a yellow rimmed traffic light icon is applied to a value between 1000 and 1999 and, and the icons will be applied to the area that appears here. To do that it is conditional formatting so you're setting the conditional formatting uh, new rule. So you click on new rule and you want to leave this selected as the, uh, leave the first rule type selected. Format all cells based on their values. The format style, you want to select icon sets. And we want to work with the rimmed traffic light icon. So you select the rimmed traffic lights. And you want to display the green icon when the value is greater than or equal to 2000 and the yellow icon when the value is between 1000 and 1999. Now uh, it says when the value is less than <coughs> zero and is displayed here. If you click in this box this number would change to less than 2000 so it would actually read less than 2,000 and greater than or equal to 1,000. And that would take care of this condition here. So you type 1,000 here and then click OK. And you see you have your icon sets that are added to that range. Now let me try to find the other question that you had problems with. It was question 2287. Apply conditional formatting to a range of sales. Oops, I selected the wrong one. Let me click here. One second. I clicked on the wrong thing. Hold on, let me pause the video and then I'll pick back up when I found my way back. Okay. Applying conditional formatting to a range of sales. In this task, we want to specify that the sales in the selected range whose sale value is greater than but not equal to 2000 will be automatically formatted in italics. This is again working with conditional formatting. And this time we're going to work with the uh, highlight sales rules. And uh, that's greater than. Select the option for greater than. Greater than 2,000. And over on the right hand side in the drop down list box, we want to select custom format to select italic. And then click OK. And OK again. And you see that these. Uh, these values in the selected range that meet the criteria are now in italics. These two questions are kind of tricky so I do understand you having problems with them and I hope this video helped. Thank you.